The term layout can be interpreted in two ways. As a noun, it is a set of instructions for the contractor and or surveyor presented in the form of a drawing, usually referred to as the layout plan dimensioning and materials plan or staking plan that locates the site elements to be constructed. As a verb, that is to lay out, it is the actual on-site process of staking out the location of these elements by the contractor and or surveyor. In this section we will present methods and practices associated with developing the layout plan. The purpose of the layout plan is to establish the horizontal position, orientation, and extent of all proposed constructed elements. The vertical position is established by the grading plan. The layout plan, together with the grading plan and site details, provides sufficient information for both the site planner and the contractor to calculate the needed quantities of construction materials and estimate the cost of a project. As with grading plans, there is no one correct way in which to present information on a layout plan. However, there are basic methods and guidelines that should be followed. Information should be conveyed in a logical, well-organized manner that reinforces geometric relationships and the intent of the design, while demonstrating an understanding of construction processes and sequencing. Long-standing standards and practices have been established to facilitate communication and understanding among the practitioners of a variety of disciplines, including landscape architects, architects, engineers, surveyors, and contractors. These graphical and notational conventions are consistent regardless of whether a drawing is CAD-generated or hand-drawn. The amount of dimensional information provided on a layout plan must be sufficient to allow all proposed constructed elements to be located in an efficient and cost-effective manner. Under-dimensioning can result in greater interpretation by the contractor and loss of control of the design outcome by the site planner. Overdimensioning can lead to confusion and error, produce drawings that are difficult to read, and imply inflexibility in accommodating field conditions.